While the city's struggle to meet affordable housing needs is one of the biggest challenges we're exploring in our Making It in San Diego initiative. But San Diego's leaders also have their work cut out when it comes to keeping the existing low-income units from hitting the open market. That's right. Our tenants reporter John Horn reveals how the city plans to keep 200 affordable units downtown from disappearing. The affordable housing complex behind me is in a prime downtown location. It's even got a cafe attached to it. That's one reason the building's owner could see its future as market rate housing or a boutique hotel. But any plan to change what's called the Island Inn now appears to be a decade away. On Tuesday, the city council approved a $2.75 million loan to the building's ownership group. There's no payback necessary if the units stay affordable for the next 10 years. And what we're getting here and what the win is, is that we get to preserve this for affordable occupants. Emily Jacobs of the San Diego Housing Commission says keeping existing affordable housing for low income residents is a challenge. Once the deed restrictions on the buildings expire, she says owners often seek more lucrative options, especially in downtown. Where SRO housing and things like that are ripe for the picking to redevelop into some sort of market use. We had uh, numerous offers from uh, hotel uh, operators. Sean Schrager, one of the Island Inn's owners, says it could be prime for a boutique hotel given its proximity to the gas lamp district, the convention center, and the grocery store. But his group spent a year negotiating with the Housing Commission to keep the units affordable through 2027. And rather than put 300 plus people out on the street, we thought it would be a good idea and work for everyone to be able to uh, continue the rent restrictions. The region is already behind on building affordable housing. The commission says San Diego needs 38,000 low income units by 2020, but only 11% have been built. Residents who live in the Island Inn said getting a place in the building often came down to being at the right place at the right time. John Horn, 10 News. That is for a lot of us out there. Those 200 units would be restricted to households earning up to 80% of the area median income. That means a family of four earning up to $77,850 a year could be eligible for the units.